Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve practice problem 5.5 from Hate's book. So using repeated source transformation, determine the Norton equivalent of the highlighted web world. Okay, remember, if we are using source transformation, we can replace this current source in parallel with resistor into a voltage source in series with a resistor. So now, let's do source transformation on this resistor here and this voltage i mean the current source here so we will have that v is equal to i multiplied by r our i will be 5 5 ampere and our r will be 2 so we'll have 10 volt okay now so now let's redraw this one so we will have 10 volt voltage source Okay, now this will be 10 volt voltage source. And then we will have 2 ohm here. So we replace that one with this one. And we will get that 8 ohm here. So we'll have 8 ohm. And then we will have this here as 10 ohm. And that will be our load resistance. Load resistance. Okay. Now we can combine this resistor into one resistor. That will be 10 ohm, right? Now let's do that. We'll have 10 ohm. And now we can transform this again. 10 volt with 10 ohm into a current source with a resistor in parallel so let's do that we will have our i will be v over r our v here is 10 volt and our r here is 10 ohm so i will have one ampere so now let's redraw this circuit we will have one ampere here one ampere in parallel with 10 ohm so we will have 10 ohm here and we also have 10 ohm here and then we have the load resistance here Okay, now, if we take a look at this, we have 10 ohm and 10 ohm in parallel. So, we can replace that with 10 parallel 10. Or, that will be 10 multiplied by 10 divided by 10 plus 10, it's 20. So, I will have 5 ohm. Okay, so, we can have this 1 ohm. I mean, 1 ampere current source. And then one resistance which is 5 ohm and one the load resistance okay so now in this part we can get this is the norton equivalent of the initial circuit we have a current source in parallel with a resistor so our norton current will be one ampere and this one is our norton resistance or that is also our thevenin resistance that will be five ohm so this is the answer of the problem I think I did not make a mistake. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the answer key. And thank you for watching. Hopefully, this will help you to learn about electric circuit. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.